Thanksgiving is one of the few times in the year when the whole family gets together and everyone talks and shares a meal and enjoys themselves, but invariably there will always be some awkward questions, some uncomfortable moments with your family. Even if you have a great family that you get along with really well, there's always going to be some moments that you don't quite know how to deal with. And I'm here to let you know the best ways to deal with them in the nerdiest possible way. Because I love Thanksgiving. There's this great feeling of just being together and wanting to give back. And I absolutely love that. And yeah, I'm going to sit down in a cabana. Why not? And everyone starts to think about the ways in which they can give back. In fact, I just heard about this like country pop singer named Tay Barton who released a song called Little Giants. And she's donating uh, part of the proceeds of the sales of that song to help raise awareness about childhood cancer. Um, and it's, you know, it's a good song. Too. But I like to see stuff like that. There's always like charity songs and stuff around this time of year. I love that sort of thing. So, you know, you should go and, and support it. As you probably noticed, I am not at home. I am, in fact, on the island of Aruba, very far from my home. But that doesn't mean I'm not still a nerd and I can't help you out for Thanksgiving. I'm pretty well acquainted with this since at Thanksgiving dinner, my family argues about just about everything. The number one argument that we have every single year is about politics. So the way I get around this is by talking about how happy I am that Kingsley Shacklebolt is the Minister of Magic because they're either very confused or they want to know more about the Shacklebolt character and what his policies are. And I just tell them the truth, which is that he's cracked down on dark magic use 110% in the last four years, and I think he's doing a great job. And if you're a little bit younger, they're probably going to be asking you about your extracurriculars, what you do with your free time. Just tell them that you're training for the Hunger Games. What, are they going to disagree with you? And this also works if they tell you you're eating too much or too little. Just invoke District 12 and tell them people there don't have enough to eat, and you're just making up for it, or saving food for them. No one in your family is going to disagree with your choice to get really good with a bow and arrow or camouflaging cakes. And in that same vein, if they're questioning why you aren't getting all your schoolwork done, just tell them that you know that Malfoy's up to something and you have to trail him to figure out what it is. Or that you've been taking double the classes and attending both using a time turner, and that is a lot of homework to keep up with. And then the really big one, the one that is always awkward 100% of the time, when they ask you if you're seeing anyone, and if you're not, why don't you have a girlfriend or why don't you have a boyfriend and here is the answer here is the foolproof answer that will work for you every single time you do you are seeing someone but they live in a blue box it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside and the reason they have not met this very significant significant other of yours is because the two of you are always off traveling through all of space and time together how's that for someone they can be proud of well i hope that you all have a great thanksgiving and i hope these tips helped you out a little bit i'm going to go see if i can get one of those drinks with a a little umbrella in it, and until I see you next, be brilliant. Horcrux? Oh, Horcrux. That's like, okay, a woman of the night that sure. you pay for sexual things. And, and then it's this part of her. <laughs> just the elbow. Or there. the back of her knee. Oh, that's, that's pretty sexual. I call that my favorite part.